Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And I am doing a part, kind of like a part two to my last video. Because I had some other ideas that I just had to try out. And so I figured I'd turn the camera on and show you what I came up with. <coughs> Excuse me. This here, these little leaves, these are the uh, Tim Holtz Sizzix leaves. Uh, 660955 uh, for a big shot or whatever. That's what I have is the Sizzix big shot. And I was like, I wonder if using wax paper and crayons, like we did in my last video, but with wax paper this time, would allow me to put it through the Sizzix. And as you can see, it does. And I'm going to put a picture up here of what these look like with the light coming through them. They're absolutely just magical, magical. And I just love the way they turned out. And then I was like, ooh, to do a stained glass window. <laughs> Same deal. It is gorgeous. But I was looking at this and I was like, this kind of looks like a uh, nebula. And I was like, ooh, I wonder if I can make one of those. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna be putting this into my art journal <clears throat> and I'm gonna cut a hole so you can actually see through it. But what I've decided to do is I took, I still have the wax paper, and I took a piece of cardstock and used my circle cutter to cut a nice big hole through after I folded it in half, cut a big hole. And now I'm just measuring this so I can cut a nice size that will fit inside this because I want to make like a telescope looking at a nebula that's kind of my idea so that will fit so I'm gonna put this aside and this is just your everyday ordinary wax paper it's right here uh, made by Reynolds Cut right wax paper. I don't know what what it would be in you know overseas. I have no clue. But I'm gonna grab my crayons and my little sharpener, and I'm going to grab a knife, an exacto knife. I will hold that down too, and I'm. I'm gonna use this basically the same colors, but I'm gonna introduce black into it. If I can find the black, here is the black. I'm gonna cut the paper down so it peels a little better. There we go. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to put specks of black everywhere because what I did before is I used the copper and I thought well, that's you know that'll be great for leaves and whatnot and I saw how gorgeous it looked I was like oh that looks more like a nebula if it was black I may still throw some copper in there too though and it doesn't need a lot I think what I've got here will do it. So many people have commented on that video. It's been awesome. You all seem to really like this technique. And everybody wanted to try it. <laughs> it's just, I mean, crayons, they're cheap. You can get, you know, you can get them at the Dollar Tree or, you know, the Dollar Shop. And uh, just go to town. You can get all sorts of colors okay put the black back and I'm gonna use a lot of the same colors I used in the other one which were blues pinks yellows and some gold see if I can grab all of the ones I used um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. where's the other one no, there was another one. Oh, I threw some green in there. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Is that it? 
Yeah, I think that was it. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and grate some of these out. Okay, now I'm going to fold this over to that fold line. And while I've been doing this, I've been letting my iron heat up. And let's, let's see what we get. off. Looks like I need more color, but you can move it around a little bit. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. See if you move it off to the side, because that's gonna be covered. We want more of the color to shine through. Not very happy about that. Not too happy. I don't know. No. Just not going to work for me. Let's try that again. I'll be right back after I get a new sheet of wax paper. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Will this work? Let's try that again. I want different, I want better colors. We're just gonna use less black. Less black. Just a few pieces of black, not, come on. This is just part of the Playing process. Black there, and some black here. Okay, I think that should be it. Not nearly as much. All right, and I'm just gonna go through my other colors like before.
Okay. I did add some copper, like in the stained glass window. So let's try this again. Oh yeah, that's better. That's much better. Oh my gosh, yes. That is going to be fantastic. Okay, so now we just gotta let this dry, which doesn't take long. But you can see how it's, the paper has become kind of stiff. That's what allowed me to put it through the Sizzix. I just put this on the platform, laid my dies on it, ran it through, ran it back through, and just popped the leaves out. And then once, if you do cut them out with a Sizzix or even scissors, you're gonna see the edges of what you're cutting out turn a little bit white. All you do is you lay them back down on your, on your mat, you know, on your towel, and just use a very, like, unplug the iron. So that's cooling down, so it's not so hot, so it's just warm and just very gently over your leaves and it just mends the edges perfectly. But oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's, I just love that. That is gorgeous. Unbelievable. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, oops, sorry, didn't mean to bump that. I'm gonna move this bucket. Oh. Okay. And I'm going to glue this into here. So I'm just gonna take some art glitter glue. I like it that direction too. And let's go ahead and finish that page up. And a wrap, well, let's go ahead and put it in. Like that. And I'm going to uh, try and open this up a little bit around this. and then close it. Unbelievable. That's so pretty. That is unbelievable. I mean, just gorgeous. I got I got to show you guys this with the the light behind it. So let me I'm going to take my camera down really quick. Hold on with me. Uh, okay. There it is. There it is. That is so cool. This is how they all look when you hold them up to the light. So, yeah, I am just tickled with the way that looks. And I'm sure, I mean, we can put that into a, a journal page, into an art journal. You can make it into a, uh, oh, that's an idea. You can make that into a, a, a card very easily. This could be the front side of the card, and then you open it up. Definitely, that'd be cool.
but yeah so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed some of this and even the one that's that didn't turn out we can still use bits and pieces of this you know grab a, a really cool die cut or I mean you could even just cut this up into strips you see and use the bits and pieces in collaging you could you don't have die cuts you could just cut this in a leaf shape like that And that makes a pretty leaf. And what I did with these leaves over here is I took a copper Sharpie and just went up the middle and then had some veining. It makes a beautiful leaf. So yeah, that is my share for today. And I hope you enjoyed this. I, hope, I know you guys are having fun with the last video. So here is some more ideas of what you can do with crayons in your journals and on your journal pages. So yeah, um, grab your stuff, grab your kids' crayons, and go to town. So yeah, until I see you next time, love you bunches. Bye.